The greatest feeling in the world was holding my own gun. I'm hypertensive, but all my decisions been wholesome. My independence had me flipping on siblings I stole from. Said I'm just big and loud. Well, half a pound is my silent treatment. I punched out plugs I could have stopped from eating. Stash of the Prada. Shy nigga got up. Gun in the mass in the grass. It's a pop up. I was Robin Hood with the stock. Don't get shot up. Now I'm watching Robin Hood in my stocks. They just shot up. Why do you think uh, no one spoke up for you in that situation? I don't know, but I, I, I and the crazy thing, <clears throat> I really don't even care to talk about it because it's like nobody owed me shit, so I, I, it doesn't, it don't, really, it don't even really matter at this point. You Not know, worth well, I, I think the issue is that what you going the reason why you, um, you asked that the issue for me was I was expecting me out of everybody else. I shouldn't have did that. Mm -hmm. Never expect the you out of the next person. But you can't, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. just cause you may be walking and drop five hundred dollars right here, just cause I won't touch it, I won't look at it, or I may pick it up, go run, stop you, and give it back. Don't mean they gotta do that with me. No. So can I really be mad at them for not doing what I would do? You can't. But then I gotta principle, ask. principle, yeah. But guess on what? the flip side, even principles Everybody and morals, your principles. they don't they. Who's right? They principles may be different than mine. Your right. definition of a real nigga might not be mine. Right. Right. Does that make you wrong? Now, in the, the law, in, in the law, and the reality right. of what we came up and know, yeah, you'll be wrong. But in my sense, if you ain't raised exact similar as me, I can't like, I can't be mad at you, bro. Mm -hmm. So I gotta ask, why do you do what you do? Because that's what I do from the heart, and that's what I love doing. Right. right now, my only excitement is my kids, helping people, and my music. That's it. Right. And you would instill the same values into your children, correct? I don't have to. It's in their heart. You go look at my page. <laughs> I remember a situation with my son, Houston. I was taking him and, um, I was taking him to go buy a whole bunch of shit from GameStop. You know, my kids, when they ask me something, fuck it, let's go. Yeah. And there was a, a family there that said they have an eight. They didn't have nowhere to uh, sleep. And I purposely just threw it out. Hey, bro, you want to go? We can go get these games. Or that family you just seen, bro, we can help them. Mm -hmm. And then we'll figure the game shit out later. Mm -hmm. And his mind was, let's help them. And I, I asked him, like, well, well, why you say that? He said, man, I can get these games anytime, man. There's no telling what them people are going through at this moment right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm willing to risk not having fun to allow them to be happy for a moment. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So right. It, it, that, it's, it's, it's for real. Yeah. That's for real. It's, Shout out to Houston. Yeah. 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 Shout out Shout to Houston. Houston. But that's naturally they heart. That's not something that I, I had. I didn't wake up and teach them that. You know what I'm saying? Well, you so, did. They, they watched watch you. you. Yeah. They watched yeah. you. So, yeah. watch so you, you know what? You did. It, it, I guess <laughs> a good father would be their kids. They idol. They, they idolize it. Right. But still, in a sense, it, even if they watch it from a distance, you still... I never physically had a conversation to tell him, hey, this is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be having to deal with, with my kids. They be willing to give anything away. And sometimes be like, hey, bro, I'm getting all this. You know what I'm saying? Giving this shit away like right, that. Right. But then I can't even really be mad because it's, that's a trait it's us. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, listen, that's a trait. I, I, everybody knows how much I quote my father. He said shit, but he would say things not necessarily to me. But I got most of what I got from watching how he treated other people, from watching how right. he moved. And I listened when he had conversations that I wasn't privy to, I wasn't a part of. I was paying attention. Yeah. Fathers teach from a distance. Yeah. I think about the lessons his kids pick up from watching the way he does things around here. You dig what I mean? Like I, I, I see that. The way his daughter talks to him, she might jump off the phone a little earlier if he says daddy's about to work. And that's not that's not because she wants his attention any less. It's because, oh, he's about to go do that important thing that he does mm -hmm. for everybody. Oh, okay, yeah, go ahead, go, go, go do that. And right. I'm gonna I'm watch it later. You dig know what I mean? Like as you make your moves and do your thing, I'm gonna your, say your all my watching. kids do that except for my daughter. <laughs> just, gonna be, what are you saying right be, now? I'm gonna be real with you because <laughs> yeah. I can tell her that. Hey, what are you saying right now? Look like I don't give a damn. I'm like he must have caught about. the one time that she can. 
<laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh, okay. Hey, yeah, daddy, so you know. <laughs> like, uh, let me tell you something, bro. It got to the point when I'm on the road and my daughter FaceTime me, whoever with me got to hold the phone while I'm performing. And she may be watching, she may not be watching. But let you hang up that phone. She, she going to have somewhere. Pay. She going to call right back. <laughs> right. So, she but I definitely feel it's going to be in her too. But I'm just, you know, just being real. Like, yeah. that's probably one that she just, I don't, st- it's, she ain't got no fear of me. Mm. She do whatever, whatever I ever. But uh, on the funny note, though, figure. the reason I do a lot of the stuff I do on side of that, I love to do it, is it creates a legacy. A legacy is more important mm. than anything. You know what I'm saying? Because... If money come and leave, name come and leave tomorrow, that legacy that you have can always be a foundation for for your kids and everything that come after that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like one of my sons is disabled. I don't, I don't know if you know my my physical first um, son, Danico. And you know, man, I'm one of the people. I always do what I want to do. I don't I don't care about what people think. I ain't trying to fit in. So, like, even if you go look at interviews, I'm probably one of the first people that would bring my kids literally in my interview. They'd be right there. They'd mm-hmm. be in my lap, anything. But um, I was saying that to say about my disabled son, you probably don't even realize, man, at least 40% of the industry have a disabled child. Mm-hmm. You'll never know because they don't speak on it because you never know if people are going to be cruel. You know, yeah. you, 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 you got to right. protect them, man, yeah. you know. You don't want people feeling a certain way about it, or, you, you know yeah. what I'm saying, or treating you a certain way. But I made it in a situation where my son shit, I, I shared him with the world. It took one time somebody to say something. And bro, when I tell you I had IP addresses, everything, that, that nigga ain't, he never understood how somebody found him so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, nah, I, this, is, this is a true story, bro. Oh, this is a very true story. Right. But. I shared them with the world and, and I made people understand like, bro, it, it's okay. Like you can, you can, your children should be able to live life just as normal as anybody else. Mm-hmm. So like I created a foundation for him called Unique and Gifted, me and his mother. You know, I love her to death. And I did, last year we did the very first special needs day. Imagine over 5,000 disabled kids. You wouldn't even know it was that many kids. Mm. But everybody enjoying itself because nobody, everybody have different, whether it be physical features, whether it be mental, whether it be mm-hmm. everybody in there living their life, living their best life, not thinking about nothing other next. They normal. You, you see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Right. So a lot of stuff you do, man, you you have to think more than for the moment. You know what I'm saying? Because even though I'm creating legacy for my kids, I'm also creating legacy for just our people in, in, in general. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And, um, and shout out to that too. I'm I'm finna be one of the first ones. I'm right now I'm working to build the first special needs park in a low income area. Oh, that's fine. Oh, wow. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I only know three of y'all. Huh? I, only, I only know three. It's you, Fat Joe, and Royce. No, it's it's a lot more. I'm, it, I'm, I'm saying it ain't for me to put it out there, but just know it's a lot more. I'm only saying that because they've all talked about it. Oh, so yeah, like yeah, all, yeah, the yeah, three, yeah. The, I'm not blowing anything up. But Royce's mm-hmm. son is artistic. Fat yeah. Joe has talked about. I, yeah, yeah. So it's a lot more, man. But then it's good that I do show the world is because I'm giving the other ones courage to do the exact same thing. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. Because at, at the end of the day, man, we in fucked up times. But one thing I do know is still a lot of people that generally have hearts and can care. So you know it it can it can always go both ways, man. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's it's all about doing what's best for for you and yours, doing what's best for cuz think about it, if I was to stop if I was never rap again, if I wasn't making money, if I just faded it off, my work definitely going to be remembered. Facts. And that's more important than Whatever I can do to get on real fast right now. Mm-hmm. Beats the attention. Yeah, it's yeah. always about leaving your mark. That's yeah, what yeah. we're here for. Think yeah. about it. Would you rather your <laughs> would you rather your family, your kids be like, man, that nigga, that, he was a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> or would you rather them like, man, your dad is probably one of the most solid niggas on earth. And they can just go down stories and stories and stories. You see what I'm saying? But but you but you never know. Because, you know, um, not to bring up uh, anybody else's business, it was shot to Boosie. But you look at what he, he he went through with his daughter, 
you know Boosie does a lot of shit. Mm. But that's still a perception. So it, it's you're a not, perception you're not of, of, as far as her her perception on how she feels about of him, him. Her or, or at least how she expresses it to the public. Well, first and foremost, shout out to him. And I always tell you, I don't get in people personal business. Right. But what I will say, if people decided to judge Boosie, then that mean they've been feeling a certain type of way. Right. Mm-hmm. The same way if people say something negative to me, they've been feeling that type of way. So nothing that we do is ever gonna be good enough. For right. their opinion, right. anyway. Anyway, mm-hmm. yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, I, I understand what that is. I, yeah. I know, I you know, you got to realize, man, Boosie, we were kids together. So, I know he loves his kids. I know exactly what he do. You see what I'm saying? Like we got real history, history. You know what I'm saying? But again, it'll never be for me to speak on this personal family stuff. You know, I, I he can speak because he he's the one experiencing that. But what I will say for the people who just jump on a bandwagon to hate him or bash him. They've been feeling that way, man. That ain't that. Right. Don't, what it is, in, in this damn area, you have a whole bunch of people who are really cowards, and instead of them openly just coming out saying, hey, I don't like you, they wait till they can find the find first a moment. slip mm-hmm. in the crack. They, 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 they like, pick yeah. at. And he ain't saying Nah, they're going to see you in person. But, like, but it's not just that. But it's not just that. It's not just that. It's not just that. Some people are chill. They, they looking for their own demons. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some people, people that didn't have a good relationship with their father. Mm-hmm. And they they see her and they want to identify with her because, you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. a feeling that they felt. Right. Yeah. So it's mutual. They, yeah. They, they, yeah. Those demons attract each other. That some people think you're you're attracted to someone else's energy, and meanwhile, it's really you you you're being led by your wounds. You're being led by your trauma. Well, you're, yeah. you're you're attracted right. to you have like trauma and you your trauma trauma bonding. Right. You think it's the same thing. Oh, I feel your energy. Meanwhile, y'all both equally fucked up right. and just but, having but, company because and, now and the, the trauma bond is normalized. Trauma That's bonding right. is dangerous true, though. Because then when you get somebody out there like a chick who lies about about rape, women have actually been through it. They For try sure. to bond with them and, and support them in a lie. You see what right. I'm saying? So it's again, man, it's a it's a very tricky slippery slope. Game. I'm talking about it's it's you damned if you do, damned if you don't. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, what people got to realize is, and even I'm just not realizing, a lot of this shit, a lot of our, our traumas and what we feel, that's still a form of some type of mental mm-hmm. issue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Me wanting to be by myself and, and not be bothered, you know, that's more of a damn near depression kind of if you look at it you know what i'm saying so uh, a lot of us have real internal issues and so i was doing a a interview earlier and they asked me why i like to do what i do and i um i told them when i first started when i first as far as just high on with the people when i first started coming up you know i was bumping my head doing all kind of goofy shit you know you young Mm -hmm. imagine you and your brothers y'all in the household with your mama when you're in the streets, you can't, you're not coming home crying to mama or certain shit you ain't gonna talk to her about. So you're gonna go figure it out to the best of your, your ability. ability mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So most of the time when you're trying to figure it out to the best of your ability, you may not have nobody at that moment. You may not have a big homie. You may not have nobody you can talk to. So now it's, fuck it, this is me against the world. I ain't got nobody, it's just me. Mm. And I used to feel that a lot. Mm. And I always said if I got on, <coughs> I was gonna make sure and grab a lot of little homies when they felt like that and let them know they wasn't by themselves. Mm. And the shit not only went from the little homies, it just went to people in general. Mm. Because you have people who want to give up or ready to crash out. Soul around. Look around you, man. You can find inspiration. You can find discouragement. It all depends on you. Perception is everything. Some people just hear another song. Some people hear the greatest. A nigga used to have no chill. Nowadays I bump side A. Traffic on bumper to bumper, stuck on the highway. 